Hello and welcome to another exciting moment on your, of course, your delectable show, Movie Flick. And you know how we do this? We take you around the entire movie industry and a lot of segments for you to watch and enjoy the movie of the week, the exclusive guest segment, the Nollywood stars, and of course, the moment and event. It takes you around the movie industry, what's been happening, and a whole lot more. So, you are in for a wonderful time, you are in for a very entertaining moment on movie flick my name is Femi Davis Alagbala and I'm gonna be your host on the show just as we've been doing it so all I need you to do now is to sit back relax and enjoy every moment of this show I will be back after this break to tell you more Welcome back. Yes, this is still Movie Flicker. My name is Femi. And this side, like I told you, we're going to be having a lot of fun on the show. But our first stop on the show now is the movie of the week. Enjoy this. Our movie of the week is Love in a Pandemic, a 2023 drama filled movie which centers on love and romance. Love in a Pandemic was written by Bolanle Ayodele Amaka Chidoka and Abosi Ogba. A blending art production directed by A.K. Mansion and produced by Kemepade, Bedford, Vincent Sin, with Eitayo, Chadu, and Bedford as the executive producer, features a cast of Esodike, Nancy Sime, Ronke Odunsoya, Teniola Aladeshe, Uchi Montana. Thank you for calling JJ Logistics. My name is Bolande. How can I be of help to you today, sir? And just like that. There's no need to panic. The pandemic is officially in Lagos. Love in a pandemic captures a love tale which happens amidst one of the most unforgettable moments in human history, the COVID-19 pandemic. It tells the story of Bolande played by Nancy Isime, a customer care agent who has to work from home at the start of the pandemic, met Alex, the man of her dreams. But how does their love flame survive the uncertain world of a pandemic? I just said I started talking to a stranger. You've made the best of opportunities life has given you. Whoever is going to be with you needs to see that. If you're like this as friends, I wonder what you like as a lover. Who's your friend? Is she one of your bitches? Love in a Pandemic is an engaging movie to watch. Welcome back. Up next is our exclusive guest segment where you get to hear, feel the vibe of my guest on the show. I'm not going to let the cats out of the bag. Just watch this and you will enjoy this. Our guest of the week is Ayodeji Adejumu. Born on 4th February 1986 in Ibadan, Oyo State and hails from Ilesha East local government area of Oshun State, Nigeria. Ayodeji Adejumo is an actor, writer, producer, and a filmmaker. Ayodeji Adejumo began his education at CAC Primary School, Sango Ibado. He went to Oba Akimbi High School, Oremiji, Mokola Ibado, Oyo State, Nigeria, for his secondary school education. Ayodeji Adejumo backed Bachelor of Science in Industrial Chemistry from Ajayi Krabra University, Oyo State. Upon graduation from the university, Ayodeji ventured into the real estate and construction industry where he practiced for five years. 
In his quest to achieve his dreams and passion in filmmaking, he proceeded to Ebony Life Film School Creative Academy where he studied acting. Ayodeji Adejumo began his acting career in 2013 and has since featured in several films and theater productions, some of which include Scoundrel, Subeiru, Unstoppable, Afonja, The Abroad, Stupid Finder, A Woman's Rap, Wild Goose, Ogun, Inheritance. He debuted as a producer in the movie titled Sound of Silence. Ayodeji Adejumo has featured in some television series as Laju in the new African movie Mnet series Itura and as Officer Sunday in Jennifer's Diary. Ayodeji Adejumo, known for his first one-man stage play titled Shadows, has won him multiple awards home and abroad. Best Supporting Actor in the film Stupid Finder and Core Insure Award for Shadows. Ayodeji Adejumo, one of the sons of the late icon and a legend, Moses Olaya Adejumo, popularly known as Baba Salah in the Nigerian entertainment industry. Ayodeji Adejumo has made his mark in the Nigerian movie industry. Yes, welcome back to Movie Flick, of course, your all round movie entertainment program. And on, on the set with me on the show today is a very interesting man. Yes, a very interesting guy, a very interesting man. And someone who has found himself doing different things at different times. And of course, someone who I refer to, one who is walking into, to whom much is given, much is expected. You know what it means? When there's so much that has been bestowed on you, there's so much you also have to offer. He's a graduate of industrial chemistry from the Jai Crowder University. Of course, he's been, into, he's been into construction, he's been into real estate at some point in time. And of course, he's been doing so well in the movie industry, the son of an iconic, legendary actor, and of some of those people that set the pace for acting in Nigeria and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome with me in the studio, Adeju, Ayo Adejumo. Ayo Deji. Ayo Deji. Adejumo. <laughs> Don't mind me, we've been so used to abbreviation over time. I know. And I try as much as possible to when people call me by my name, to call me by my full name. Hi, hi, Adeji. Welcome on Movie Flick. Thank you so much. Thank so you for having me. Have you. We've had reasons to see somehow, somehow along the line in the journey, journey. And I want to commend a lot you've been doing. So you're welcome on Movie Flick. Thank you. So, like I said, you haven't said that too much is given, much is expected. <laughs> um, you are the son of Baba, the great Baba Moses Olai Adejumo, Baba Salah. And somehow, um, I, I look young. I, do I look that young? Like I might not have watched Baba's movie that time. I'm, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. You're yeah, sure. yeah, 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 a millennial. So yes, yeah, so, I'm a millennial. Ah, I like that. I like that. So I want to say that um, very commendable is what <coughs> Dad has done. Very commendable is what they've been to and what they are the legacies they've laid in the industry so far. How has it been for you um, getting to introduce yourself? Of course, someone getting to introduce you and getting to your Baba's um, offspring and living up to that expectation. Okay, so first of all, I don't even like to introduce myself anyway, I guess. Well, of course, <laughs> I have to. <laughs> like, I mean, introduce myself like, okay, I'm Baba Salah's son. Oh, yeah. I don't even, I I never liked it because I feel um, people tend to now look that eye to look at you like, okay, oh, yeah. so you're Baba Salah's son. So just like you said, so it's, the pressure is, is much. So you're Baba Salah. So I always like to just, let me just lay low. Don't know who I am. Don't I don't want you to know. Let me just do my thing. Then if at all you want to know, it's going to be like later, later, after which I've proved myself that okay, so this is what I can do. So and of course, yes, the, the pressure is, is there. They just see you like, no, you have to bring it. Especially when I get to set and you get to know that we have a bass last one and the director will just be like, Oh yes, so they, they will feel you don't need to rehearse, just bring it. Mm. At some point, anytime I go for maybe close auditions and they get to know by my last Alaston and they just say, oh, st make us laugh. And I, I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm not a comedian. I'm just me. Like Baba Salah is Baba Salah. I am myself. I, it's not like I can't do a comedy um, film. I can, but I just don't want to box myself um, in that mm -hmm. kind of line or something. So, so yeah. So the pressure is always there, but we are managing. I mean, it's interesting to know that 
we do not expect a reactor to they believe that is a bomb ah. <laughs> is on the system it's not easy at least sometimes it's just you have to still do something to work but on yourself growing up um what was it like for you um living i mean having to be tutored and nurtured by that kind of man and the man of um, that strong flair for entertainment for that. What was it like for you growing up? I mean, how did you, how did they even allow you to study industrial chemistry in the first place and not yet that? <laughs> okay, so growing up was actually very fun and I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. So I, I grew up in the midst of a lot of people. I grew up in the midst of the veterans that you can think of this, um, in this industry and um, so making me to study industrial chemistry you know when your your son is brilliant your your, your child is brilliant you just like then it was uh, you have to go to science class you have to do this i know you be a doctor and everything so of course we we i i see a lot of riazas i see them doing a lot of things but i never for once like okay i want to do it you know and i think it also doesn't really give us that um opportunity to be like okay so you come and do this one, come and do wow. this one. It was much later, like I think around 96, 97, that now I started introducing some of my um, elder brothers and sisters into it. Like, okay, so you do this, do that. That, that was after, after, after so many talk from his wives. So like, wow. these are your children, put them in the line and everything. So I, I discovered myself in, um, I think in church. Like okay, so yeah, in church, you know, of course, in Ajayi Krada, because I I did a, a a stage play where I I took a lead role by Bodisha one oh, day. So that was like okay, so it was it was looking for someone to take that role okay. and everything. So he just gave me the script and he was like okay, so yeah, do it and. That was it. That was that was how you know. It. Yeah, of course. And <laughs> so was that what ignited your passion for acting? Because of course. Um, studying industrial chemistry, one can say that you're coming out to make the money in that industry. Mm. Um, so, at what point did that passion, did that interest for acting mm. or movie? Film I movie? think I think it was in uh, I think it was in two thousand and three. So the, I I am a dancer and um, I used to be um, in Spirit of David. I wow. don't know if you know Spirit of David very back well, then, yeah, well, that they did Celebrity Takes Two. Yes. So it was it was there. I started to like um, try to um, discover what and what I can do in entertainment. Aside the fact that okay, yeah, you you, you are born into entertainment. There, so it was in that group that I actually like okay. So because I'm a very good dancer, mm -hmm. and you know, um, so the school it was now in school that I was able to now put into action what. I have been able to like see from what um, my late dad has been and doing, been yeah. So twice. yeah, so it was in that school, it was in that play. I'm like, okay, this is not bad. I think I'm not, I'm not doing bad at all. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, but I really, really love this the course I studied as well, and I want to like practice. So I was like, okay, let me just practice. So I, I was um, quality control analyst for five years at this construction and real estate so I practiced for five years and I've, I've always known that this is what I'm going to be doing and it was just like the time to break out. So that takes me to your first your debut production, okay. um, Sound of Silence, it's something I want to talk about. So tell me about your first um, performance, your first acting career, your first... Um, <laughs> okay so my first acting career um, film was actually in my, my dad's film. <laughs> <laughs> At last. So I play at, at last. last. <laughs> so I played, I played um, Babalegba's son. Okay. In um, it was a series actually. The director, I think that was that was his last series, okay. and um, it was directed by um, Becky uh, Becky Adioye. Yes, it was directed by Becky Adioye. So it was just I could remember that day, and they were just like, okay, so you you are going to play. But my leg was sore, blah blah blah. Then they called just me. Just walked up to you and said, "You're playing." Baba yeah, Baba. yeah, that's it. And they were just like, so I had just one appearance, and <laughs> I could remember I was actually smiling <laughs> while I was acting. <laughs> I was smiling because I was like, "Oh, I'm on TV," <laughs> that kind of a thing. <laughs> so that was my first ever appearance, and I think it was in 1997. 97 or, or 98, there about, if you can remember. Yeah. Then, uh, so my first, uh, my debut production was actually, I don't know if I can say stage play. Of course. So it was a one man play, Shadows. 
Shadows, shadows. Okay. yeah, Shadows, shadows was a one-man play. Um, it was a play about um, men's mental health, suicide prevention, it and um, yeah, so it was staged at um, Freedom Park. It's been performed like 13 times in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They won an award to go to Brighton Fringe in London, One's World Fringe, um, Amusement Fringe in Canada, and um, Paris Fringe. Yeah. So. This is you're not relaxing. I mean, you're just you're being consistent, doing different ah, things at different times. That's what I do now. That's what is putting food on the <laughs> table. <laughs> While you're talking about it, I need to also talk about the productions you've been like. Um, Other productions, series, okay. Um, the, of course, the most recent Itura. Itura, yeah. Also, I'm also a fan of. And why you're also capping with that? Okay, so um, like I'm currently on Itura right now, and we are still filming. We are not done, and I play the character of Naju, uh, who happens to be like a glorified house boy. And um, boy. yeah, he's a glorified <laughs> house boy because <laughs> he knows everything about the family yeah. and everything about the house. So um, then, of course, yes, I joined the cast of Jennifer's Diary last year as Officer Sunday. So um, we are currently on break now, and um, we should be resuming very soon. Mm -hmm. And of course, I've I've done some couple of uh, projects like feature films and as well as short films for other people. So taking you back a bit um, to Shadows, um, Shadows, do you still intend revisiting Shadows at any point in time? Shadows is going on tour again. Yeah, it's going to, it's going to Brighton French. It's going to um, Wandsworth French, also in London. So we have those two places for now. So I can be up here, I move around with you. <laughs> <laughs> so um, let's talk about Sounds of Silence. Um, Sounds of Silence was also screened. Um, um, was also on the by, by the International Film Festival. Yes. It was also where I knew where, where I was at the event, I was at the screen and it was some of that, I, I remember it was I couldn't make this the screening because yeah. I, I was on set. So I, I didn't know I was going to be on schedule for on that day that I was going to be oh, screening okay. then. So when I saw the schedule on Itura, I was like Oh, I'm going oh, to be why, filming, why? and I really, really wanted it to come. I was highly commended. <laughs> I was highly commended. I, must, I commend the story, and I commend the effort. Because the interesting thing about the uh, South of China is the fact that it speaks to a social matter. Yeah, you understand. And I know that beyond the fact that it was successful, you could also take it as uh, take it beyond where it yes, is. Yes, More film festivals because it's something that speaks to the subconscious mind of everybody. Yeah, it speaks to the things happening all around us. So. Um, kudos, you of course have also limited by time. It won't be fair for me not to touch on your latest, um, okay, which is the games night. The games um, nights, tell me about games night. Um, games, night. Games, night. <laughs> games night, I mean, yeah, the games night. what comes to my mind is <laughs> yes, it's gonna happen. It's game. Oh, no. So, tell me what inspired games night in the first place. I know it wasn't the story of depression and right, no, 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 it wasn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> so the inspiration behind games night was actually, um, my actor colleagues. Uh, they, they are just so brilliant, you know, exceptional, and I was like, you know what, let me create a story for all of us. Good. And I gave somebody the story, he wrote it, and that was how we shot Games Night. So I was just like, okay, I want to do something very unique, something that nobody has ever done before. So for the first time in the whole of the school, our sets, we have a film together. Okay. Our coach is even there, Trikus Volchengs. Okay. So um, it's coming out, and because of the kind of film it is, and because of the, the um, Wahala that we saw, wow. I, I really, wow. yes, I really want to push it, like push it, push it okay. to the best streaming platforms that you can ever think of. So yeah, it's, so it's done now. So you should watch out for, for, for the games night. As yes, well. yes. So um, having done all of this, um, what should our fans, viewers, um, everybody that's been following all your works, expect more from you hmm. in the future and beyond? Hmm. So they should expect ah, better projects. They should expect vibrant acting delivery, vibrant project because there's something um we are working I'm working on with um Gabriel Falaran next year. Okay. So um, Finally Gabriel. Yes, finally Gabriel. <laughs> so we we grew up together. And people, people don't know that he's actually, yeah, yeah, actually should, cousin. Should, should. We, mean, we actually grew up together. So, <laughs> um, so we are, we are working on one, uh, my first feature film, and um, he's going to be the director. I, I'm not supposed to let that house, but now nah, okay. he's out. So he's going to be the director of that. And it's interesting, and he just dropped it on the show. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. Uh, if I also, I, I expect when you said you grew up together, I should have known. Um, I did love. 
Babasala. Yes, they were, they were, they were best of friends. Best of yeah, friends. they were best of friends. She should, be, should have that network. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'd like to commend you so well. I thank really you, thank you so I much. Really do more. I commend all you've done, all you've been doing, and the energy and the passion you put into things you do. You're, you're, not, you're somebody that not allowed anything to limit you. Yeah. You, you become unstoppable over time. I, really want, I took that from my dad. That. Yes, you should. Mm -hmm. And we look forward to more of you. We look forward to following you. We look forward to having you more on this show as time goes on, um, celebrating more of your successes and everything. Thank, Thank you. For you. Being Thank you so much. Thank you for so having me. I have been, I've been conversing. I've been having two conversation, heart to heart, men conversation, and of course, a whole lot with Ayadeji, Ayadejumo. Yes, I wouldn't want to go the dad's route now, but I want to speak more about what he's been doing for himself and a whole lot more. He just told us that we should expect more. Look forward to more. If you've not seen Games Night, you should go see Games Night and a lot of other works. Yes, Movie Flick is still around here. Stick around. I'll be back after this break. and trailing movies to watch this week are the women so i'm calling because of my 40th birthday party on saturday that's how maro just sprang a weekend get away surprise on me for the four musketeers and our husbands <laughs> i mean these are very important friends of mine and we want to make an impression i just bought one cheap dress for 250,000 naira. What? 250k? There is no need to lie. It is my 40th birthday party. It is a big deal. Happy birthday to you. Where two or three women are gathered, there is war. And passport. No, Uncle, you don't understand. The passport is in the bag. Come on! Hey! Please! Without a passport, I can't fly. If I can't fly, I can't see mom, and then they will think I'm up to my old antiques again. Where is Oscar? We should tell the authorities, report them to the police, have them arrested. Oscar, this is not London. This is Brown area. Is that clear? You don't know them. I know them more than you do. Flavor, your friends don't fall. You know them again. against. Flavor, don't give me hope. Flavor, say even one way stand, go see four. I just want my stuff back. I don't want any trouble. 500k. What? We are stand for here, so I did. And it's near you. Now, do you wear? Hey! Please! Come on! Yes, I hope you've been enjoying your very delectable program, Movie Flick. Up next is a segment you all look forward to watching. This is our Nollywood star segment. See this. Oluwumi Olakweju Mosaku is a British actress of Nigerian descent. She is a superb talented singer known for playing Joy in the BBC Two miniseries Moses Jones and has Oli Lawson in ITV's Vera series. Born on 31st July 1986 in Zaria, Nigeria, she relocated to Manchester, England, together with her parents at the age of one. Wumi Musaku attended Trinity Church of England High School and Zaverian Sixth Form College. She graduated from the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in 2007. Wumi started her professional career at a tender age when she debuted on the BBC drama Moses, together with Sean Pakis in 2009 and has since played a different role in several movies and TV shows, some of which include, but not limited, to Sold as Firefighter, The Bill as Sophie Oduya, Law and Order, UK as Tanika Vincent, as Carla in Dancing on the Edge, Fearless as DCS Olivia, Don't Take My Baby as Belinda, The Body Farm as Rose Gilbert, Temple as Mercy King, The Women of Troy as Helen of Troy, I Am a Slave as Malia, Loki, Lovecraft Country as Amina in Sweetness and His House. Wumi's talent and hard work have not gone unnoticed as she has won some awards and some nominations. 2017 Best Supporting Actress category in the Damilola uh, Loved Boy movie 
BAFTA Awards. 2017 nominee female performance in TV category in the Damilola A Loved Boy Movie Screen Nation Awards. 2017 nominee Best Female Supporting Actress category in Some Sweet Oblivious Antidote Sydney Indie Film Festival. 2018 nominee Best Actress category in the Damilola A Loved Boy Movie Royal Television Society Gay. Oluwumi Olakpeju Mosaku is an embodiment of hard work and exceptional talent. She is an inspiration to many young Nigerian girls who would want to be successful in the entertainment industry, home and abroad. Yes, I know you've been enjoying the show, but I'm sorry, we just have to end this episode at this time. I hope you've enjoyed all the segments we've brought to you, Movie of the Week, exclusive guest segment, Nollywood Star. Of course, if you love this, just follow all our social media handles. I'll stick again at the same time next week for another wonderful, interesting episode of your show, Movie Flick. My name again is Femin Davis Alagbala. See you again next time. <laughs>